There's a free app that's gaining popularity among the Android community right now. And in today's video, I wanted to share that with you as well as give you a demonstration of this application across three different phones that will give you three different results. Now the idea here is to open the application and the application will be able to tell you if your phone has any water resistance or not. And technically you could do a Google search to find out if your phone ships with IP certification. But this is, this is also a good way to test the water resistance of your phone to see if there's been any type of integrity issues with the water resistance seal. And you can actually see this in action whenever you use the application to test with and without the SIM card being inserted because a lot of phones need the SIM card to be inserted for that IP certification to be intact. So again, this water resistance tester is a free application in the Play Store. I'll be linking to the direct app in the video description for those who do not want to do a search, but you can find it by searching water resistance tester and downloading the app. Again, it's a free app downloading it from the developer Ray W. Now as it is, once we download the application, we can simply open it up. And this app is using our barometer. It's a sensor inside the phone to tell us how the water resistance is performing. Now I have this affordable Xiaomi smartphone. I believe this is the Poco M3. This does not have that barometer sensor, so the application is not going to work on this phone. However, I also have the Pixel 4a right here. Now the first time you open up the application, you're going to want to not touch the phone because the application needs to monitor and measure the baseline. So once you open up the phone for the first time, you're going to want to not touch the phone because again, it needs to use that barometer data to get a baseline. Once that's done, and you see this status message right here instructing you to firmly press your thumbs on the touch screen, we can do that. However, we can see that there is no change in the pressure of that barometer. That is because this phone is not water resistant and this application is telling us the phone does not appear to be water resistant. We can attempt to press on the screen harder. However, again, there's no pressure being built up because there is no water resistance. And if you have a, water, a phone that is water resistant with the SIM card intact, you're gonna see this happen if you take the SIM card out and try to test the water resistance. So the last phone I, hear, I have here to test this water resistance application is my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, my daily driver. So I open up the phone, I let the phone do its baseline measurement. And then once we get the status instructing us to firmly press on the screen, you can see that it changes and tells us that our water resistance seals appear to be intact. Now we have to remember that this is just a free application that's using the data from a sensor inside our phone. And then you're using that data in a way that it's not meant to be used. The phone's barometer is not meant to be used to test water resistance. However, Typically, whenever your phone's water resistance seal is intact, the barometer will react a certain way when there is added pressure made to the phone. So while my tests and reviews of the app seem to indicate the application is very accurate, it doesn't mean the phone is waterproof. It doesn't mean that you can submerge this phone or your phone in water for hours at a time. 
the water resistance in these phones are limited. This is just a quick way to check to find out if there is any immediate damage to the water resistant seal on your device.